Hey, hey, how is it going? I know it's been a while since the entire world has been on, you know, some version of a lockdown, but it's okay, you guys, we're in this together and this too shall pass. Just like gas. Speaking of gas, Nazi concentration camp survivor, neurologist and psychiatrist Viktor Frankl, who also happens to be the author of this really incredible book, Man's Search for Meaning, which could also easily be, you know, woman's search for meaning. Let's not go there at all. Viktor Frankl. In his book, Viktor Frankl talks at length about situations that were definitely out of his control and he came up with a framework for logotherapy, a form of psychotherapy that he designed based on his experiences in the concentration camps. A really powerful quote from his book is this, You can take away all of man's freedoms, but for one, it's the last of all human freedoms, it's the freedom to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way. Today we're going to talk about choosing our own way and our own attitude during this difficult time. And don't worry you guys, it is important, uh, yes of course, to stay home and to stay safe. But it's also very important to stay sane. Because I know at the beginning, it was like everyone just turned into this child, you know, who suddenly did not have to do any homework. So all of us were like, yes, freedom, I'm just going to sit at home do nothing sit in my pjs not shower not clean up not brush my teeth oh, okay that's just me okay fine but finally it starts to get to you and i understand this you know this is also uh, something that i've experienced multiple times in the past not not a pandemic uh, also definitely not experienced a concentration camp I'm a genetic counsellor which gives me expertise in medical genetics and psychological counselling and I'm also a psoriasis warrior uh, which gives me expertise in, in dealing with flare-ups. <laughs> my last flare-up actually had me stuck in bed for, for a very long time, for like half a year is the truth and just from that period of isolation and just being unable to do all the things that I wish that I could do, I feel like I have a few things to share that might be helpful. So stick around, watch. We're going to talk about how to deal with being at home for such an extended period of time and what you can do to take care of yourself. So let's talk about how to maintain good perspective, how to take care of yourself and of others and what you can do to keep your mental health and psychological well-being in place while you deal with this pandemic. So the first thing, like I was saying, is to choose the right perspective. This is the most psychologically healthy thing that you will ever do for yourself. Um, is to first reframe your experiences. So you want to stop saying stuck at home because you're choosing, even though this was not something that is under your control, but you are choosing to stay at home because it is the right thing to do. Always remember why you are doing whatever it is that you are doing to remind yourself of purpose. This is very, very important. So right now we are choosing to stay at home because it is safer to stay at home. And we are also, those of us who, who are choosing to stay at home, we should also take our time to really acknowledge and be appreciative of the privilege of actually having a home. That is something that we can all do. And you will already notice that it will start to change how you feel. This kind of perspective shift is also something that helps me live with patriarchy. The second thing you want to do is just maintain good boundaries. You want to have boundaries in terms of how you use your time. So try to maintain some kind of a routine. So there needs to be boundary for personal time as well as for work time. And you want to definitely try and maintain some kind of a schedule. It really, really helps because otherwise your personal time is bleeding into work time. Work time is bleeding into personal time. And it's just potentially a little bit overwhelming. So try to maintain a schedule where you have boundary of time and also let yourself be disconnected for a while. You also want to set up healthy boundaries so that you're not constantly responding to text messages or constantly responding to emails. And a good way to set that boundary is to disconnect sometimes. It might be the most refreshing thing that you will do for yourself. Also, another kind of boundary setting is for those of you who had started to obviously enjoy this lockdown period by thinking, I'm going to have such quality time with my family. So 
sometimes that can change very very quickly for for some people and if that if you start to notice that that has happened it's okay you are not a terrible human being i mean you might be i don't know you personally let's just say that it is normal uh for that to happen we can be overwhelmed by being in the same space with the same people for an extended period of time so also let yourself have some space stare at a wall if you have to or open the window if you have a window and just stare outside for a bit or just dedicate some alone time to yourself where you will just listen to music or read a book or do something that disconnects you from electronics and also from other people so that you can just be the third one is staying connected I know I just talked about disconnecting and all of that but we are human beings and we are social creatures and so it's important for us to be connected to one another and for that reason I mean this is especially true for those of you who live alone I know it is sometimes quite welcome to just be by yourself and not have to deal with human beings and not have any human interaction but after a while that can get to you as well so what you want to do is reach out to the people that you know make you feel good not in a weird kind of way or actually whatever way i will let you um use your own discretion but bottom line reach out to folks that can be respectful of your time of your emotions and who are conducive to your own mental well-being we know that some people can sometimes make us feel just completely drained of energy and there's some other people who we call friends sometimes sometimes their family sometimes they're a pet anyone can be that person you just want to spend some quality time and and talk to them it's okay also sometimes to to talk to your pets or to talk to the walls even and there's no need to be concerned about that unless of course the walls start to talk back to you and lastly it's just the basics right you want to focus on good nutrition you want to get some form of exercise and you also want to make sure that you get 8 hours of sleep these things are kind of basic but it seems like it's it's easier to know in our heads than to actually implement so it's always good to remind yourself to do that and that's all for me i hope you guys stay safe and stay sane and stay strong staying strong is not a physical thing it's not a masculine thing strength is actually resilience and emotional resilience and psychological resilience can be very helpful not just through this uh period of pandemic but also in life and if you're a woman definitely through patriarchy all righty then stay safe stay sane stay strong bye